morning. You see that kind of white haze down there? That's cold. Uh, it was supposed to get down to 27 degrees last night, but up here in the mountains, uh, I imagine it got quite a bit colder. I don't have a thermometer with me. And uh, I'd say 24. Right now, it's the wind's calm, but last night it was pretty windy. 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. Uh, I'm kind of protected here, but I still got a little bit of wind, and it played a little bit of havoc with me, but not not bad. I didn't blow away. Um, I uh, used my two wool blankets and uh, construction bag and my polar fleece blanket, and, and uh, I threw hand warmers. The shake hand warmers, the 10 hour ones in here, but uh, believe me, if I, if I ever had to do this again, uh, I would put the hand warmers in my socks. My uh, feet are cold. Uh, I'm a roller, so uh, the wool blankets didn't stay in place and kind of got cold and had to resituate them. Uh, three o'clock, my feet was really cold. I think I'll stick with my zero-degree sleeping bag. Uh, I mean, if if this is all you have, yeah, you know, put the put the shake hand warmers in your in your uh, socks, and uh, I don't know how everybody's sleeps different. Some people can get away with a 20-degree sleeping bag in this weather. I, I'm a cold sleeper. I like to sleep warm. So that's why I have a zero bag. Um, I remember my old Boy Scout days. Uh, I froze like this. That's why I got the better gear. But I, I wanted to see if I could still do it. Now I know why I have a zero degree sleeping bag. So, but uh, I like winter camp out. I like getting out and seeing the deer and where the deer got right down in there. Uh, there was five deer bedded down last 